Hi students, today we will discuss about uh, if statement. The if statement is used to check some given condition and perform some operations depend, uh, depend upon the correctness of the condition. You can see the syntax here. If it's a gray verb, so here we will want to write the expression. So based on the expression, it will want to validate that expression. If the valid expression is true, so then it will execute this code. If the valid expression is false, it will come out of the loop. So this is syntax of if statement. And, and you can see the diagram here. So here you can able to see the diagram. So in this diagram, you can see the uh, flow chart here condition if the condition is true it will execute the code if the condition is false directly it is the control comes out of the body so it will want to be exited here so this is the starting point this is the ending point so you can see the example so they have mentioned a few example for true statement as well as true condition and false condition so five is less than ten that is the reason why control is entering into the body so here a false for false kind of false expression five is uh, greater than ten it is a false expression that is the reason why it is not entering into the four nothing but body directly it is coming out of the body it will exit here so this is uh, for expression again we see in practical so you have code blocks here so i will write a program here very simple program so let's take an integer uh, let's say integer uh, x uh, semicolon again uh, integer y semicolon i will take the inputs from the computer so that is the reason why what i want to do i will want to give the instru uh, instruction to the user so that's why print f i will mention enter the values of values of x and y okay that's it very simple values of x and y again okay. end the statement here that's it very simple again i have to take those values input values i have to take the input values that's when function is the function that is scan f scan f here so scan f so, so mention the placeholder percentage t because we have two variables that's the reason why i'm taking two percentage t placeholders again comma so oh, we have to take the uh, variable into the memory location that's why we have to mention the address so this is, that is the reason address of x comma address of y so very simple one again end the statement that's it over very simple again we have to mention the condition here as per the syntax if x is greater than y so because we are giving the values through user end user that is the reason why i am not mentioning any values over here just leave it like that again uh, print some statement print x is x is greater than y if you want to print the values so just give this uh, percentage d as a placeholder again uh, mention this uh, Quotes semicolon. So, uh, sorry, I didn't mention the quotes, double quotes here. Please mention that one, don't forget it. Again, mention the value of x also. So, that's the reason one. Just uh, mention the value of that's it. Very simple. Okay, that's it. Again, now, uh, so this is all about uh, uh, if if the message is true, definitely we want to print this. If the message is uh, data, whatever the data we have given, if it is not true. So we have to go to the else part. That's the else part. Again, so we have to give the message. We have to print the message. That's why we 
when this over here just mention so y is lesser than lesser than x okay y is lesser than x if you want to print the values that percentage t you can mention the y variable over here that's a very simple semicolon in the statement let's run this program let's see the errors if errors available no errors at all that's why i'm going to run i'm going to give the values just i will mention the value of x a little bit greater than y that's why i'm going to take the value of x is 10 again now y value is 5 so now since uh, we can see here As per the condition, the x value is 5, x value is 10 here, sorry, x value is 10 and y value is 5. That's why x is greater than 5, x is greater than 5, nothing but x value is 10, 10 is, great, 10 is greater than 5. That is the reason why the condition is true here. If you want to print x is greater than y with the x value, what we will print with the x value. Okay, we will see this one. So let's uh, run once again, 10 and 5. See, so x is greater than y, so x value prints that is 10. So this is how we can able to do. Again, one more condition we can able to check. If uh, x value is less uh, compared to y, so what is the uh, answer, what is the output you want to get it? Suppose if I give x value 5, I get y value 10. So it will go to the else part. So y is lesser than x. So y is, uh, we have to mention y is greater than x. I'm sorry, I'm just a mistake. One second. So now you can able to see y is greater than 10. Okay, so y value is what here, that is 10. So y is greater than x here. So this is how you want to write the program for if as well as if in statement. So thank you.